A warning tonight from a Harriman City Council member and two of his constituents who claim they were victims of predatory towing right in front of their own home. This all happening within just a matter of two and a half minutes. ABC 4 is Rosie Nguyen obtaining the surveillance video. She joins us live in studio with the story. And Rosie, first things first, was the car parked illegally? Yeah, Glenn, the two Harriman residents, they do want to make it clear that they know what they did was wrong, but they say what doesn't sit right with them is the tow truck driver's questionable behavior in this case. Harriman residents Sheila Haddock and her boyfriend Adam Carroll say they were unloading groceries last Wednesday evening at their town home, located in an HOA neighborhood. Both are former employees of ABC4. Haddock's car parked in their driveway. Carol's car parked on the street right in front of a no parking sign. There's not a lot of extra parking around here, and there was not a spot at that point. Within just two and a half minutes, you can see a tow truck driver with swift towing quickly hooking onto Carol's car, which is still running. Both of them quickly run outside to stop the driver from leaving. They say the driver refused to return their car until they paid him $85. And it was kind of crazy and took me by shock because the second that I walked away from the driveway, somebody pulled up and backed up and hooked up Adam's car without checking for any kids or anything like that. Harriman City Council member Stephen Shield saw the surveillance video the day after it happened. When asked what he thought, he says. Disbelief. Um, it just seemed a, a truly predatory Action. So he combed through their city ordinance and state statute, but says with the way the code is written, technically the tow truck driver did nothing wrong. The issue is that there's no distinction in statute between an active loading and unloading situation and a completely stopped parked vehicle. Haddock says she's speaking out, hoping to prevent this from happening to someone else. I would say be very, very careful with what you're doing. You may see Amazon truck drivers, you may see delivery drivers, Uber, you may see other people doing it and idling on the side of the road, and you may say to yourself that that could be okay for one minute, but it turns out that it's not. So we did, we did reach out to their HOA, Max Property Management, and we did not hear back. The owner of Swift Towing declined our request for comment. Glenn. All right, Rosie, this is what I can't get over. It was brought up in the story. What if there was a child in that car? So on that note, is there anything city council can do to prevent this from happening again? Yeah, that's a great question, Glenn. So Council Member Shield says that he will be asking the council to look into whether they can amend the ordinance so that they can require truck drivers to inspect the car before they take it away to make sure there's no children inside. And he's also working with the police department on an education campaign so that residents know what their options are. 